Since the 1970s, paleontologists have changed a lot about the way that we view dinosaurs. Gone are the impossibly stiff, upright postures, replaced by sleek, agile, balanced frames. But there's one issue that still gets people kind of ruffled. Feathers. Did dinosaurs really have them? And if so, why? Let's pluck out the answer right now on a dino-sized deluxe episode of Al Connected's General Knowledge. So, dinosaurs were indeed prehistoric reptiles. But even as early as the 1800s, some links between birds and dinosaurs were being observed. For example, dinosaur tracks and bones are a lot more bird-like than reptilian. Even still, when a fossil of Archaeopteryx was first discovered in 1861, surrounded completely by imprints of feathers, it was simply viewed as the world's first bird. By the late 1960s, scientists were now more seriously considering a connection between birds and dinosaurs. In 1969, a paleontologist named John Ostrom pushed hard on the idea that birds were the direct descendant of dinosaurs. This was especially true of a group of dinosaurs called theropods. You know them as the two-legged predators like raptors and T-Rex. Then in the 1990s, the connection really took flight. It was around this time that a wealth of new fossils covered in feathers were discovered. We're talking about everything from patches of decorative spines on the backs of ceratopsians, or horned dinosaurs, to carnivores covered in fluffy plumage. It even includes a T-Rex relative, Euteranus. This 23-foot-long predator was covered in wild feathers. At the very top of this list, though, are the members of a branch of long-armed, two-legged dinosaurs known as Maniraptora. Take a look at this fellow, City Patty, and tell me what you see. A reptile or a bird? So where does this all leave us? For starters, we can say with certainty that many dinosaurs had feathers. But why did they have them? Well, scientists believe that a dinosaur's reason for having feathers could be as varied as they are for birds today. They could be used to show off impressive genes to potential mates. They could be used for warmth, for animals that lived in cooler forests with lots of shade. Or, in some cases, like Microraptor, yes, they could be used to fly. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about these creatures, click on this link to watch our video about fossils. And be sure to follow us so that you never miss an episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.